it's just, you know, something I've got used to. I actually plan my life around when I think I'm going to have my period and not do things. We live through these cycles again and again and again. I'd never heard the term perimenopause before. It's, it's quite difficult to differentiate what's hormonal. What is an actual illness? Oh, I'm just stressed. Oh, I'm just tired. Oh, I'm just burnt out. Oh, I'm just... It was kind of achy bones and exhaustedness. That lack of sex drive. I'd wake up about four or five times during the night. It's so embarrassing. You get halfway through a sentence and like, what's the word I'm looking for? They get really bad headaches, like kind of migraine types. So I went to the doctors and they gave me some pills for that. I start to have quite a lot of anxiety lately. I thought that I was just become a very angry, crazy person. I was just crying all the time and I really couldn't cope. That's when I agreed with my GP to study antidepressants again. And I was getting like night sweats, hot flashes, and I kind of thought menopause. I thought, oh no, I'm too young for that. And then I started tracking all the symptoms. From 28 days, bang on, for the last however many years, the actual period is maybe getting lighter, but more of them. And now it's a little bit more erratic, but it's very heavy. I ended up coming into perimenopause. Mid to late 30s. Early 40s. 45. 48. 51. Yeah, but I'm really not ready. I just want to run backwards. It's still kind of a grief that this is the end of your reproductive life. We, we've just got to kind of make peace with that. One of the most helpful things for me is just actually been spending time with female friends. My partner's been really great. Now he knows what it is. I went to the library and ordered every book that was out there. Then I started saying to the doctor, actually, can I just have some HRT, please? It made a hell of a difference. It doesn't mean all the symptoms have gone, but it just gives me that levelness. I don't think HRT is the solution for everybody. I'm very much into holistic medicine. Spirulina, ashwagandha, maca, and yeah, cold water swimming. I walk loads, I eat healthily. And I do take time out to just like do nothing. It's quite nice to feel like I'm looking after my body more. My periods were dropping off, then totally stopped. I was there like, yes! Like, whee! <laughs> I'm post-menopause, but still throwing things off, putting them back on, throwing them off, putting them back on. I'm a grown-up woman, showing the shapes of a grown-up woman. There is nothing wrong with growing up. I don't feel governed by my hormones in the way that I felt governed by them previously. It has been hard, but at the same time, it's been manageable. I think in, in a lot of ways, I kind of got off lightly. Every year, I feel a little bit more accomplished and more knowledgeable and more in control. There's such a wide variety of ways that people experience menopause. It's having that openness that we can talk about things and learn from each other and prepare. Acknowledging that it's happening, like this is a natural part of being a woman. Be kind to yourself because it is a real time of change. It's really vital that we talk about it, whether that's within our family or within the workplace or socially. We just need to talk.